Welcome back to the Sub-Zero Wolf Fitwood Kitchen. We're here with Chef Julio from Kamali, one of the greatest restaurants in Dallas, to hear all about what's happening at one of the best restaurants in Dallas. Like I said, it's good to have you in. Pleasure. Thank I hope you we haven't me. embarrassed you too much. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's move on to food, right? Let's do this. So uh, tonight, or today we're actually preparing our show rib. Actually, we just launched a new menu. Uh -huh. um, we've given a little bit of a spin off of it. Uh, I'm going to have you help me out really quick. So awesome. we have this uh, braising pot over here. Okay. Pretty high. Put a little bit of uh, blended oil. Normally when we do this, uh, a lot of people think that they want to actually use olive oil. But when we're doing a hard sear, we just want to do a blended oil so the olive oil doesn't burn. Well, what this is the blended oil? I got Blended oil is a half, 80% just canola oil and 20% olive oil. So, okay. um, so this more is, canola than, yes, than the olive oil. So okay. this right here, it's uh, our mixture that we have. It's, it has Mexican chocolate, a little bit of basilla oh. uh, chili, a little bit of cinnamon, salt and pepper. Do you need to pat it's, that uh, in there? Just a little bit, yes. Just yeah, a little bit more. I feel like you need more on that. There you go. Can I, can I cover more? Yes, I, chef. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> um, by the way, I like to take over in the kitchen. <laughs> I see that. No, yeah. That's great. So now we want to put it in the braising pot. Hold it one second. I just want to make sure that. Okay. Put it in the braising there pot. There you go. Where's put that sizzle? Aside. I was waiting on that sizzle. Let's crank that heat. Yeah, let's crank it up a little bit. Let's cook it up a notch. Yeah, there you bring go. it up. Once you have that, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you my fancy tweezers over here. Oh. Um, we're just going to pretty much sear it. You don't want a really light, hard sear just because it has chocolate. Oh Otherwise, it's going to turn gosh, a little bit I of bitter. Oh, my smell that chocolate. Okay. We're going to add our maripois to it, which is our very standard maripois. It's uh, celery, carrots, and onions. We'll Go ahead and Trinity, throw it in there. Right? And uh, in it's here. about roughly two cups of each. Okay. Okay. Yum. And any onion will do? Yes. Okay. And then Let's what we have here is always when we, uh, at Kamali, when we braise anything, we always have to have actually bay leaf and garlic. Okay. It's, uh, it's a must. It's a must. So That's part of the signature. Put it in there. Once uh, this is all nice. And so you wanted to get the vegetable sauteed at yes. all? Yes, okay. sauteed a little bit, not a lot of color, just because we want the flavors just to actually infuse into the meat. Okay. Okay. So once we have that, we have our vegetable stock in here. Mm. Okay. And uh, right before that goes in, we're going to put a little bit of little tomato, tomato paste, paste just okay. to add a little bit more color into it. All righty. Okay. So we saute that really quick. Fantastic. And uh, normally when you do a lot of short ribs, you just want to you know get a lot of color into the pot in this case we don't want that okay okay we just want a very gentle flavor to it my god so that seasoning go is ahead and out add a chicken stock to it i thought this is chicken or, or beef? vegetable stock i vegetable. apologize okay okay all right nice and then you're gonna put Our the next, lid on it yes next step is gonna be we're gonna let this sit in the oven but three hours mm. 350 degrees all if right. you can help me open the surely Oh, Our, the other one's mm, already set. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Now, our next step is going to be our final step. This has already been simmered for three and a half hours. All right. Okay. We'll turn that up a little bit. Next, we have uh, Mexican calabacitas, well, which is the veggies zucchini. Go? That will... We actually strain it. We strain it, and then we reduce the sauce all the way down. Okay. 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 So, turn this up a little bit, mm -hmm. add a little bit of oil. Very different than uh, my background. Normally, uh, I start everything with butter. Uh-huh. At Comali, we start everything with pretty much uh, either olive oil or blended oil. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what our next step is just going to be... Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's incredible. Saute this mm -hmm. really quickly. And the key of this is not just overcook the zucchinis, okay? Now, this is how many? It's... Uh, we, Normally, it's known to use it under pozoles. It's a Mexican uh, pork soup. And what we do at Kumali is we make it into a puree with milk, and we infuse this with garlic and onion. Very simple. You can do it at home. Okay. Instead of adding vegetable stock or chicken stock, we're just going to add a little bit of the infused milk. Oh, wow. You're Put a little bit of this. Me, Julio. You're getting fancy <laughs> on me. We're getting there. Now, for a lot of people that don't know, this is the Mexican truffle. Okay, this is called huicochote. It actually grows in the corn. It actually comes from the uh, fungus family or mushroom family. <laughs> okay, it's actually uh, a little bit different. I would say it's almost kind of like truffle. It has this unique it is. flavor. Okay, mm -hmm. so saute that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And remember, the the key of this is pretty much just not add a lot of color to it. Right. We uh, warm this up. We're ready to plate it. All right, let's plate. I'm excited to see this final, this final dish here. 
Let me move all this so everybody can take a good look. That's beautiful. Put a little bit of this hominy in here. Okay. A little hominy, hominy. And we're gonna wrap okay. this up super quick. Throw in some veggies. Just Look, I got my salt. fork ready. I'm ready, Julio. There you go. Let's just <laughs> throw this in here. I'm ready to here. dive in. Are we ready? Just put this in here. It's beautiful. Oh my god. A little gosh. bit of sauce. Get that sauce all over that. There you that's go. That's what's incredible. And uh, we Came can put a little bit you. of greenery for the scenery. There you go. And there you have it. Mm. Oh, creamy. That that reduction is off the charts. Thank you. That is fantastic. I'm gonna cut into that in just a second. Thank you so <laughs> well, much. Thank you for having me. So head over to uh, the Open Table to make your reservations for Kamali. Great restaurant in Dallas. Get there as soon as you can. Valentine's would be a great idea too. Up next, Lisa's talking with the man behind the cellos. The two cellos are taking the world by storm and we're hearing all about their new chair with the broadcast returns. Stay with us. <laughs>